Elijah Bird. I'm Jabri Shams. And I'm Jesse Kills. Um, this is our PowerPoint presentation, Jacksonville Shipyard Organization. And it's by Richard Welshner from the New Times Union paper for Jacksonville. Okay. Um, the owner of the Jackson Jaguars, Chad Khan, he wants to use the property to build um, a, very, a variety of things, including restaurants, an amphitheater, um, some residencies, and a bridge. Um, I know um, in the article it said that that wasn't the first time this happened. Other people had interest in the, um, in the property, but they, they're being constantly turned down by the city. All right, let me let me courteously stop you right here. If we're business owners, or even if we're if we are students in your classroom, thank you. You can't stand in front of the presentation. You got to slide even on that side or that side so we can see the slide. So either go on that side or this side. There you go, because you know we're not made glass. Okay. All right, awesome. Um, go ahead. This this is just a, um, a list of the other things that, um, oh, you missed it. Here you go. Okay. That's okay. Y'all working together. Okay. okay. Um, and like Bruce said, that they've been running into some controversy with Sean Khan and his team with the city because the city don't want to fund it anymore because they have so many failed attempts with building and um, they, they actually started like building high rises and it was canceled mid construction. So this is just talking about what's going on since 1992. Well, in conclusion, uh, me previously working at the Jaguar Stadium and I met the owner and I met the owner and I've talked to him before. So, I mean, me shaking the owner of the Jaguar Stadium, period, was a privilege. And so, what I asked him when I, you know, I went over there did my research. So, I took my time and I had to pull a few strings as to say that I'm in advance, so I need to speak to him, whatever. And then he said, you know, okay, the, the shipyard was this and that. It failed so many attempts, but that shouldn't stop me from doing what I want to do because I'm the owner of something that shouldn't stop me from doing something. So, what, so what was, and you might have already said, what was the reason why they're why they have a controversy for building that? Um, because, well, Sean Khan, I don't know what happened prior, mm -hmm. but with him, the city says that they don't want to fund it anymore because it's so much waste and everything mm -hmm. to where they would put more money in just preparing the property versus building on it. I know, okay. he, I know he, in the article, he requested $35 million for the cleanup project and that, um, I think it was going to be about 80% of the proceeds, but whatever was left over would go towards the rebuilding project. Yeah. After exactly. the and the city, the city was just like, no, we're not happening. So. Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions? So what are like the alternatives? <laughs> Business-wise, are there any alternatives? Or? Not really. I mean, yeah. you know, he just... Well, I said he has resources, I don't say all the activities, but he has resources to, to not give up on his project he feel it was going to be successful. Okay, now who's, just for, okay, just for clarification, whose project is that, Shad Khan's or is that the city of Jacksonville's project? Shad Khan's. Okay, that's his project. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, but he needs... He's trying to get grant funding from the city. Okay, all right, yes sir, you have a question? I have a comment, uh, not a question, but you okay. know that the reason why is a shot crime, he got money to do it himself mm -hmm. pretty much. He don't really need the city to do it. But y'all know the reason why he's he getting the city involved and pretty much telling them to put in some money because he's not going to be the only uh, beneficiary yeah. off of this project. The city is going to be in the city. Yeah, the major way. And they don't want to kick out no money. Definitely uh, not shot. Not sure the 35 million he requested comes in as a uh, and the, the naysay, because they, because like I said, he requested for this to you know, contribute 35 million to the cleanup project, and whatever proceeds were left, they would go towards the reconstruction process. The city was just like, mm -hmm. can't do it. Okay, one more thing. Uh, did he say anything in that in that article about uh, what is it, uh, the, the, the the business uh, owner? 
one is from where is it? London or Britain, where one of them is coming from. Uh, because they're yeah, I don't remember. I honestly don't remember the same thing. If they keep denying, that's good to keep denying because it's like you brought soccer. I don't know if y'all remember that big soccer uh, soccer game that they had yeah. at all Tales in a huge turnout. Yeah. They bring professional soccer to Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Uh, British might just come to get involved in that. Well, this is just a story that's been going <clears throat> Um, it's more to it, but this is just really what sums it up, and this is what's going on with it right now. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Good job. Very good.